Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Loving Your Life with Mama D and I'm Glenda aka Mama D. Well today I'm going to be making some black eyed peas. Now um, I'm going to add some navy beans because that's what I like. Now if you want to just do this recipe with just black eyed peas go right ahead or if you want to do them uh, with just navy beans or you can mix them like I'm doing. I love beans so much. I do beans all kinds of ways. So what I'm going to do now, first thing you should do is wash the beans and your black eyed peas. Pick out any of the bad ones. Get them into some cold water in a nice size uh, bowl. I'm going to use this deep bowl and uh, make sure they're covered with water. At least um, double the size of you. If you have about um, two cups of beans, you want to put in at least four cups of water or more just so they can soak. You're going to pour it off the next day, but, you know, just go ahead and get them soaked. Okay, so let's get started here. I have, this is about a cup of beans, not beans, but those are the black eyed peas. And then I'm going to open this bag of uh, navy beans and put about equal parts in it. Here's my navy beans. And mix them all together and uh, get them into some cold water. Okay, now can you see that uh, I have these floaters? Uh, some of them are black eyed peas and some are the navy beans. It doesn't mean that these are bad. It just means that they haven't been immersed in the water. So once you get them in the water and stir them around a little bit, okay, then if you have some floaters, those are probably the ones you want to get rid of. And even after that, now, see that little thing? Let's get rid of him. Here's another one that looks like it's, it's broken. He's floating. And I have about, a couple of them look a little peppy. So we just want to get them out. They just look a little tired. So, so far... I've taken out about nine. Okay. Now you see my water level. I'll probably add a little bit more water because they're going to swell up probably to uh, twice their size. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse them again. And then um, uh, we're going to put the water and just let them soak tonight. Here's my water level. And I'm just going to put them on the counter and just I'll cover them and I'm just going to let them soak. Okay, so tomorrow when my beans are all soaked, I'm going to rinse them out off again. And then we're going to go ahead and um, get our meat together. Now, I'm going to be using smoked turkey. Okay, so uh, the beans have soaked all night. The beans and peas, they have soaked all night. I did have a few more floaters to pick up. Uh, but now I'm ready to go ahead and put them on the stove. Uh, to cook and I'm going to use these big old turkey legs <laughs> the drumstick part because we want lots of meat in them for um, for the occasion okay so um, it's going to be hearty it is going to be hearty so what I'm going to do is go ahead and start to boil the meat because I want the meat uh, to tender down because I think it's going to take longer for the meat to cook than the beans and I don't want the beans to end up mushy um, just for the sake of cooking the meat. So I'm going to cook the meat on top of the stove until it begins to get tender and then uh, we're going to go ahead and put the beans in the slow cooker. And I'm going to go ahead and season them up with a little onion, um, some salt, pepper, seasoning salt, and probably some garlic. And, uh, and I'll just let you see it as we get to it. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and get the uh, peas and the um, beans in the bowl. And then I didn't have any um, chicken stock. I only had vegetable stock because I do, I do a lot of vegan cooking as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. This is the last one I had uh, because of the holidays. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put this whole thing in. I know it will cook down, and then when I add the meat. Now, this particular 
crock pot might be a little bit too small. I got out my old faithful here, but um, I don't know how many of y'all, how many of y'all got that one. <laughs> uh, the other day I was at Jungle Jams and I found this Harvest Blend seasoning. I've been wanting uh, to use this. I'm gonna uh, next year. I'm gonna be using a lot of salt-free uh, seasonings and doing a lot more of the uh, whole food. But this has um, a wonderful array of vegetables. It's made with uh, carrots, garlic, onion, parsley, tomatoes, um, mustard, lemon, orange peel, uh, citrus, citric acid, other natural flavors, and, um, and it is salt-free, sugar-free, and gluten-free, uh, and no MSG. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some of this in here. And um, I just want to see what it tastes like, because this is really, well, you know, I made it with some uh, cabbage the other day, and it was really good. So, this is going to be a go-to. I'm going to put a little uh, adobo seasoning in. You know, I can't get too much seasoning with beans. I feel that, you know, they need that. I am going to add a little Himalayan salt uh, just because I do have this uh, meat, quite a bit of meat that's going to go in. I'm going to use, um, I'm not going to use the Mrs. Dash. I'm going to go right to the Slap Your Mama. Uh, <laughs> let's shake some of that in. Uh, we definitely have to put in, I thought I had pepper. Let's see. Here's my black pepper. Here's my black. And I'm going to drop a couple of um, whole bay leaves in here. Just two. Yeah, two bay leaves. And um, then I have some uh, garlic herb seasoning. I found this the other day. And I'm just going to, I guess I'm going to put some fresh garlic in here, but I just like these seasonings also. All right. And so now, this is a two cloves of garlic. Get that in. And um, y'all need to see what I'm doing, don't y'all? Okay, and I just have just um, maybe about an eighth of a cup of um, green pepper. Put that in. I have a half of a chopped onion. And um, that's everything for now. So we're going to go ahead and get the top on this. And we're going to get this to cook in. And when the meat gets tender, we're going to go ahead and add the meat in. Okay, so uh, the beans are ready. Uh, this is very hearty, full of meat. And uh, the black and the, I'm sorry, black eyed peas and the navy beans. So it is ready now. Uh, time to go ahead and just... Get in there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so um, this right here, I've tasted it already. And I'm just going to tell y'all right now that it is absolutely delicious. I added the navy beans just because I, I love beans. And it still has a beautiful black eyed pea look. And with the meat in there, it is just loaded. And that's where you're getting this extra flavor. So, um, yeah, and a lot of people, you got New Year's coming up, and a lot of people like uh, to have black eyed uh, peas as one of their uh, New Year's dishes. And, um, of course, I don't believe in luck and all that, but there are certain things that I eat uh, for New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and that kind of thing. So I just believe in the blessings of God. So, Father, I just thank you for this food we're about to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's uh, try it once again. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah. That is so right. So, once again, you know my, my, my thought. It's your life. You love it and make the best of it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave me a comment and share this with somebody, okay? And hey, go ahead and make you some of this girl. Because this right here is delicious. Mmm. 
and until next time.